Y'all, he done had all morning to be in the kitchen. And now I'm in here. And my sweet potatoes just came out. We're gonna make sweet potato pie. I'm, I'm in here trying to do what I need to do. I'm and he wants breakfast. to come here and get in my way. You should have been in here. You've had all morning long. Babe, I'm gonna make you some breakfast. Oh, y'all, we're here to make sweet potato pies. Hey, everybody. Hey, Thanksgiving coming, y'all. Take a picture of oh, So, you guys, I baked my sweet potatoes. So, I'm just taking them out of the oven. And I guess as soon as he get out of my way, y'all, we here to make a pie. I'm gonna feed you. I wanna feed well, you, you girl. Been in here. I should have, but I was moving a little oh. slower than I normally would. Somebody come get him. Come get him, please. I can already tell it's getting ready to be a long day. He in my way, standing behind me with his iPhone 13. What are you doing? I took a picture of your menu. <sighs> I'm gonna write down my breakfast. Um, cereal and eggs. Y'all, okay, y'all, we getting ready to do several videos because I'm preparing for Thanksgiving. I'm taking a picture of the people. And look at his phone. Look, 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 look at his phone. Show him, look, where he had the iPhone 3 written. And, I mean, y'all, that's ridiculous. I'm going to need him to get out of my kitchen because I have a lot to do, you guys. I'm going to do several videos. I'm in here in my PJs. Um... And we're getting ready to make the best out of this Thanksgiving 2020. Although we cannot spend it with our families like we planned. You lying with my wife. I'm going to spend my Thanksgiving with my wife. You know I meant other family members, extended family. They need to come on. Okay, let me get my mix for you guys. All right, you guys, dude number one is literally literally in here in my way. I'm making breakfast. Ooh, I'm so we're going to talk about these ingredients while he's doing what he's doing. I'm going to let uh, y'all see my breakfast. Uh, move. Don't nobody want to see your breakfast. Hey, do you need to say I'm feeding you? Oh, okay, so let's talk about sweet potato pies, you guys. Um, this is a recipe that my mom made. This is how my mom made her sweet potato pies pies okay I know so many of you do it different ways but I just want to share with you the way she did it and this is what we're used to it's very very simple uh let me grab my flavor and I almost oh uh, almost forgot that okay so of course we have our sweet potatoes here that they've already been roasted and then we're gonna peel those and I like to do it while they're hot and we're going to use, she usually does two eggs per pie. And what we, I'm going to need you to quit banging on that pan. Okay, babe, I'm sorry, I'm making breakfast. Oh, no. Y'all, okay. What we really had to do was kind of come up with the recipe because my mom is a southern cook, or she was a southern cook, and she didn't have to measure. She just cooked. So between my brother and myself, my brother that's in California, we kind of came up with the recipe that, tastes like mama's okay he does he is a little bit different I stick more close to exactly what mom did so two eggs per pie now this time I'm gonna do four pies I usually do about 12 pies for Thanksgiving but we're doing four this time okay um, and then I'm gonna add an extra egg just in case there's a little bit more batter or just makes me feel better adding an extra egg so right here we have uh, nine eggs we're going to add just like a little dash of salt, just a dash. It balances out that sweet, okay? Uh, vanilla flavoring, pure vanilla flavoring. I went and purchased me some new nutmeg, some fresh nutmeg. Y'all better check those seasons in your drawer. Y'all know some of y'all done had them seasons two Thanksgivings ago, and they expire, and you need to, you need to uh, uh, get you some new seasoning, okay? new nutmeg and then I'm gonna use two sticks of butter and I use the regular pie crust I know so many people do deep dish my mom never did deep dish by all means you certainly can but we just use the two um, regular pie crusts um, for our sweet potato pies 
Okay, let me also say this. I know some people do flour in their sweet potato pies. Some people do cinnamon and ginger. Um, we don't do any of that. Only thing we use is the nutmeg to flavor our sweet potato pies. That's it. Again, if you want to add the other flavors, flavorings or seasonings, the, the cinnamon, ginger, some people do allspice, whatever tickles your fancy. Do, don't you even keep your mouth closed. Ain't no need of you looking over here getting ready to say nothing. Thank you, sir. <laughs> would, would you like your eggs on a toast or on a bun? Baby, this is your breakfast. You can go on, but this is your breakfast. Toast is fine, baby. Toast? Thank okay. You. And, oh, I just want everybody to know, I only use two eggs for her breakfast. As I was saying. So whatever you like to season your pie with, uh, that's what you do. Now, as it pertains to, I forgot the sugar. Of course, we have sugar. I'm going to start with one cup of sugar per pie. But what you have to do, you guys, you just have to taste it. Taste it and see if it's sweet enough or if you, you know, need more sugar, if you need more nutmeg. That's just what you have to do when you're cooking. So we're going to start with one cup of sugar per pie. And then um, we'll add our nutmeg. We'll add our vanilla. I'm going to need you to stop. Okay. I'm, I'm going to need you to stop. I just want them to see. They, they will see. That's the last time I was showing. Guys, look. I just want y'all to see her eggs. Notice a fluffy. And okay, y'all okay. can go to thank you. I'm done. I'm thank done for the day. I just want them to see I, I cook. Y'all, it's going to be a long day. I'm going to let's, let's get to making this pie. And I'm going to start by peeling um, the potatoes. And I'm going to show you really quick. Because um, y'all, he's really in my way. But when you roast them, you see how easy the skin just comes off of your potatoes. So we're going to pull the skin off of every last one of these potatoes and then we're going to get them in the mixer and I'm just going to mix the potatoes by themselves first because it pulls out all of the strings or at least the majority of the strings. I do not like a stringy sweet potato pie. I like my pies to look very smooth and pretty um, because honestly you guys you, you eat with your eyes. So if it don't look right to me I'm, I'm not eating it. I'm very particular about my pies anyway so I don't eat Really, I don't eat anybody else's sweet potato pies. So, but so we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna get those strings pulled out of the sweet potatoes, and then um, I like to go from there and mix it up while it's warm because it helps to melt that butter and kind of incorporate the sugar. Okay, so uh, he's getting ready to get about, get out of our way mm -hmm. so we can do what we need to do. If they just give me two two minutes. And you guys, as we get ready to get started, I'm sorry, I forgot that I also use evaporated milk. So we have the sweet potatoes, eggs, the pinch of salt, nutmeg, vanilla flavoring, butter, the pie crust, and we use evaporated milk. Okay, like I said, first we're just going to take the skin off of these potatoes. And they've actually started cooling a little bit. <clears throat> but you can see that it comes out of a very easy. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I know some of you all like to do um, brown sugar in your pies. And I've done that before too, but I just really want to make this pie just like my mom used to make them. And she didn't use brown sugar. Now my brother in California, he uses brown sugar. Oh, and some people also do lemon. I've heard of that too, but not over here. Not over here. But again, just wanted to share with you how we do our sweet potato pies. OK. 
Okay. And the reason I like baking them, I just feel like it doesn't, I don't know, I feel like when you put it in water that it makes the potatoes watery. And you definitely don't want a watery potato when you're trying to do sweet potato pies. So I like to roast my sweet potatoes. Bae, since you're in here, you can keep making yourself useful and, um, I'm making your breakfast. I know. I'm talking about when you get to making my breakfast. Please don't hit my tripod. I, I, I finished your sandwich. You did? Can I show you? The people don't want to see my sandwich, they do. This, this is your sandwich I made for you. This is our Jeez. breakfast sandwich, y'all. Yeah, here's one. Here's, okay, they see it. Thank you, baby. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Okay. So now I have all of my sweet potatoes in there. Yeah. Let's put this on my hand. And my butter has been sitting out, so it's room temperature, and my eggs are room temperature as well. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna start by um, mixing up these sweet potatoes, so we can get the strings pulled out of here and I'm not adding anything to it right now I'm just gonna mix up the sweet potato so I can get these strings out I want you guys to look at all these strings. That is what you do not want in your sweet potato pies. Okay? So what I'm going to do is um, I'm unplugging my mixer and I'm just putting them in some water to, to get the strings off. That's all I'm doing. Okay? Notice that I did unplug my mixer. Okay, so I'm plugging it back in, and then we're gonna we're gonna keep mixing. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do this a couple more times and then I'll be ready to add my butter, okay? Okay, you see how that's looking much better, okay? getting ready to start adding my butter okay and just in case any of you were interested before I attach my uh, hand mixer back to my mixer I really like this mixer you guys this is the Dean family collection mixer and uh, was made by Paula Dean I told you how she my auntie she just don't know it um, this is not sponsored I pay for this mixer myself but what I love about it is that you can um, detach the hand mixer from it and you know just use it as a regular mixer or you can use it as a hand mixer okay so that's what I love about it and then I just have to 
attach it back. Hopefully you guys can see. Just attach it back. And then it also has this scraper that goes on the inside of it. And if you'll notice when my bowl is moving, that this scraper moves. And it keeps me from having to scrape down the sides of my bowl. Although I do it anyway. It's just something I'm used to doing. But I really love this mixer. Again, it's not sponsored. Um, I purchased this mixer with my money. But I wanted to share it with you because I think a couple of you may have asked about my mixer. Okay? So... Now that I've gotten the strings out of my sweet potato mix, I'm going to add, let me lower you guys, and then I'm going to add my butter. So I'm adding two sticks of butter. Y'all know he be working my nerves for real, for real. But this breakfast sandwich is good. Mmm. Thank you, babe. Mm. I've just added my butter and I wanted to stop so I can explain exactly what I'm going to do next because I don't want to try and talk over the mixer, okay? So, now that my butter is mixed in, this is what we're going to do next. I'm going to start by adding my sugar. Now, again, I said start with one cup of sugar per pie. That's what you guys need to do if you're going to do this recipe. I already know we like it sweeter, so I'm going to do five cups. I'm going to start with five cups of sugar. After I add my sugar, I have already cracked my eggs. I have nine eggs here. I have this one can of evaporated milk. You guys, I have already... You know, I always talk about wiping the top of the can off, cleaning it off, because it's been in warehouses or stored and rodents and dirt and everything has been on the top of these cans. So, y'all already know, wipe it off. So, I have my evaporated milk. You always want to shake it very, very good. Okay? So, I'm going to add my sugar. I'm going to add my eggs nine eggs i'm going to add this whole can of evaporated milk and then i'm going to i'm going to do just a little dash of salt i like a lot of vanilla so i will probably add at least you know a few tablespoons of vanilla i'm going to put the ingredients down in the description box so again you guys kind of just you know, play with it and do it to your taste. But at least I will have given you a foundation, okay? So, and then I have the nutmeg. Now, the nutmeg, you guys, nutmeg can be strong. So be very mindful. I'm going to start with a teaspoon of nutmeg. And that's going to be for four pies. That's what I'm starting with. After I get everything mixed up, I'm going to taste it. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to add a little bit more nutmeg. I just don't want to add too much before because you guys already know. Once you get it in there, you can't take it out. Okay, so just do it gradually and do it to your taste. You know, everybody's taste buds are different. 
So you may not like as much nutmeg or even the other seasoning. Some people like the cinnamon and the ginger and the, um, what else? Everything else that you guys add in these sweet potato pies, it's okay. It's, it's not a wrong, well, it's, it is a wrong way. If your pie nasty, that's wrong. You did it wrong. <laughs> but as it pertains to the things that, the flavors that you like to taste, there's no wrong way to do it. If you like those things, then you add it, okay? Just make sure your pie don't be nasty, though, because they're going to tell you at the family dinners now. They, some of y'all probably better be glad you're doing Zoom Thanksgiving this year. Won't nobody be able to tell your stuff nasty. Okay, so this is what we're getting ready to do. So we're going to add the sugar, we're going to add the eggs, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, okay? And then um, once I get it all mixed up, we're going to taste it. Yeah, we're going to taste it before I fill my pie shells.
Okay, so you guys, we are done mixing. And I want you to notice the consistency of the sweet potato pie mix. It's not thick at all. when my beaters drip. Okay. You see the consistency of the mix. Spoon kind of fell down in the bowl. Okay. So now I'm going to fill my pie shells. And oftentimes you guys I always end up with a little more batter than what I need. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees and what I usually do is put my pies in the oven on 425, maybe about 10 minutes. Um, what this does is going to help my crust to, to go on and sit and cook so that way it won't be soggy. And then I'm going to turn it down to like 325 and let them cook slower, okay? So let me lower you guys so you can see me filling these pie crusts. stir and when I tasted them, tasted the batter, um, it tasted fine. So I didn't feel like I needed to add anything else. And when I put them in the oven on that high of a temperature, you guys, you really need to kind of keep an eye on it. Because the pies, the pie um, crusts have a tendency to get really dark around the edges. So you just have to kind of make sure you keep your eyes on it. Everybody's stoves and ovens cook differently. So you just want to be mindful of that. And with me and my sweet potato pies, I don't like for my pie crust to be pale. I know some people like a pale looking pie crust, but I like my pie crust to be brown um, to where I can tell that it's been cooked. And to me, it just that just says homemade sweet potato pie. So... When I get done with my pies, my crust will be really brown, okay? Again, if that's not your preference, then you don't have to cook them that long. Okay, let's get these in the oven. Again, I'm going to watch them for like the first 10 minutes, and then I'll turn them down. I'm putting them in on 425. Watch them for about 7 to 10 minutes, and then I'm going to turn them down to 325, and they're going to bake at least another hour, hour 15 minutes, okay? Here 
really careful when you're getting your pies in the oven, trying to keep them as level as possible so your pie batter will not spill out. All while trying to do this as quickly as possible so you won't let all the heat out the oven. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quickly. You see how the crust has just started to kind of brown up a little bit? That's exactly what I want, okay? So now that that started happening, I'm getting ready to turn my temperature down to, uh, we're going to turn it down to 325. And then we're going to cook it for you guys remember my oven cooks a little fast so I'm going to turn it down to 320 but it's going to um, on 300 but it's going to be 325 and then I'm going to let them cook for probably at least another hour or so okay alrighty then the pies are ready oh, isn't that pretty ooh wee Thanksgiving coming, y'all. Thanksgiving coming. Yes, sir. See how I tell you I like mine a little brown. See, get a little that little that little brown around the edge right there. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Now we will let these cool, completely cool, and that way they'll totally set for several hours. And I don't know about you guys, but we always have to have a sample pie, honey. So one of these will not make it to Thanksgiving Day, I promise you, because we have to get a sample. You guys, a sweet potato pie is done. When I tell you there's nothing that reminds me more of Thanksgivings at home with my mom than her sweet potato pie, this is wonderful. And you see the crust. It's not soggy. Um, I did add flour. And this is how we do our sweet I'm here to do my job. <laughs> you agree. I want to do my job. I mean, you like, no. Uh, anyway, y'all, this hard, is a sweet potato pie. Like job. I told you, one is not going to make it to Thanksgiving Day. So, here come Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> you so greedy. So, you guys, we are going to enjoy... I have more recipes coming. Oh, this is good. Mm, it, is, it is so good, y'all. Mm. Mm. Y'all, that's my mama's pie. Mm. Well, this is what I did the brunt. Oh, this is video number two. Video number two. So, you guys, this is a little mini series of Thanksgiving. Um, dishes that I'm going to do for my family and just wanted to share them with you all as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Did you say shake something? No. Shake the nose. Push the nose and shake something. Anyway, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I don't think we've, we've ever said that. You guys like the video if you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, I think what's coming up coming up next is some um, uh, collard greens. I think I think that's next. So you guys come on back. Okay. And please notice the um, breakfast that was cooked by an amazing person. They noticed the breakfast, baby.
It was good too. Okay. Bye, you guys.